Hello and welcome to my channel. Go ahead, hit the like, hit the share, subscribe if you haven't already. If you miss the news in the celebrity world, there's so much controversy surrounding August Alsina yet again and also mystical in his current charges. Stay tuned for this video as I break down my thoughts as to what I feel about the things going on. Can I with you? What? Hey, CP, did you see this? Look, if it ain't official Dana J, Levi for Kelly, Prima Donna News, I don't even want to see it. Now, when the news first broke about Mystical's arrest and his allegations, people automatically started to bring up previous charges. Now, Granted, that's always a go-to for people, and it's nothing wrong with keeping those things in mind. However, to prejudge isolated events based off of past events, and then you find out those past events aren't on the up and up, it should give you insight to what I'm about to bring to your attention now. Now, to automatically conclude that someone is guilty based on prior allegations against them without considering the new facts is a little bit prejudicial and a problem that I have with this whole public outcry and bringing certain facts to the public when we all know that what goes down in the public's domain and what goes on in the courtroom tends to vary. The point in me saying that? Well, it's very important when you have news reporting agencies to stick to being unbiased when reporting this news. However, when we can visibly see that their coverage shifts in one way or another, there lies an issue in tainting public's perception when these individuals viewing this information can be a person on the jury pool deciding this person's fate. So allow me to pause. This video obviously is not about whether I think Mystical is guilty or innocent. And that's a problem I feel like I had when I first came out with my content on my channel. Is that a lot of people want you to come on your platform and either defend or condemn an individual based on one-sided information that you hear. Well, my platform is the complete opposite. I'm here to serve as a voice to give you a different perception, whereas if this couple, mystical and the accuser that is, have had a tumultuous history within their relationship, and then an incident arises, and this person goes and makes a police report, is it really fair to prejudge the situation when we have seen this history of women using their hurt emotions to get back at their spouse? So with that being said, how do we know at a later time the same individual can't drop the charges? How do we know there isn't more to this story other than the salacious details that have been put out here prematurely? And most importantly, what is the learning experience from this whole situation and how so many people deal with these type of toxic relationships where they're abusive, whether there is sexual abuse or physical abuse. And nobody wants to address the elephant in the room when we see these type of disputes publicly. Is it fair to publicly condemn this person not knowing all of the facts when there is a slight possibility that because this person has been accused of this before, this isn't the perfect accusation to wage against a person of his magnitude? Now, with all of that being said, this also brings into reality a big important detail that a lot of people don't pay attention to within other content I've made. I find it very strange how people are so gung-ho ready to deal with these celebrities, as they say, and never realize the warning signs that come before them. Let's hypothetically say the allegations against him are true and all of these people have missed the misogynistic ways that these men have been allowed to carry on with these personas that they've made corporations millions from. 
Meanwhile, the government will put themselves in a position to flip these characteristics of these personas to be used against them. Meanwhile, all the people that once loved this same individual, you'll see will turn their backs on them when they need them the most. You'll also see a generation of other people who have been highly influenced by these personas running amok. Now the conclusion of how I feel about that topic at hand is very strange when people say things like you do the crime, you do the time, and these facilities are supposed to be correctional and for rehabilitation. But let's say hypothetically you do commit crimes, you do serve your time. We know for a fact there's always going to be this stigma, this cloud around you that will forever be held against you and can even enhance whatever sentence you may get as we see with mystical now facing life for this accusation now let's move on to august alcena and tory lanes isn't it crazy how the universe works we had jada pinkett smith and her entanglement with august alcena but everybody want to skip past how she gave her red table to these surviving r kelly females and she gave such a hypocritical statement when it came to why people were still supporting robert kelly never mind she had a whole infatuation with this porn star who was passing out syphilis never mind she's been accused of dealing with minors herself with crisscross and others and never mind this whole entanglement saga that has her husband looking hella crazy on this internet right now let's skip past that and go on to august alcina being the butt of the jokes and then when individuals got on their platform and voiced their opinions he didn't like that so when it came down to it apparently tory lanes and august alcina came face to face tory lanes tried to give him a handshake august alcina was still in his feelings now let me just pause right there because as we see on this internet, it's a lot of individuals that feel like they can just voice how they feel about things, offend people, and then everything just supposed to be cool. But when they see people and that same person keeps that energy and is like, fuck them, why get mad? So according to the stories on this internet, Tory Lanez got mad and went with his bodyguards and knocked August Alcina in the mouth. Now, I ain't gonna lie. When I seen these photos, I was like, what type of ghetto ratchet bullshit is this? Who in the hell gonna get hit in the mouth and sit up here and stage this whole thing? But if you've been watching August Alcina and a lot of these other entertainers, it's funny how they directly tell you certain things sometimes smooth it over as a joke or make themselves the butt of the joke but they're dead ass serious about whatever it is they're talking about yet when i saw the lip and i heard there's supposed to be an investigation on tory lanes i was like well maybe it did happen maybe he's just being very theatrical in his delivery Yet as a whole, collectively, we the people can't say what happened, now can we? We can only base what we say off of what's being reported. We can feed that information to our audience. The problem I have with a lot of these platforms on YouTube and mainstream media is they don't take accountability for the bullshit they perpetuate. And then they don't come back and recant the bullshit when they discover it's bullshit like for example take my view on the robert kelly case i cannot logically tell you this man is innocent or guilty or anything but when it came to researching the facts researching all of the information that has been put out there and noticing that nobody in the media world recanted any of their lies 
and a whole jury was corrupted by all of these false reportings and all of this other propaganda that was put out there, it's not fair to say this man was rightfully convicted and ignore his possibilities for his appeal. Now, even though it's beginning to look like there's a pattern behavior with Tory Lanes, would it be fair to automatically say that he did this and he did that if this doesn't even make it to a criminal procedure and or more facts are revealed and it indicates that somebody else delivered the punch? Now, will it excuse if Tory Lane sent this person to deliver the punch? No, but I'm I'm just saying, you know, the overall point, even when it came to the Meg the Stallion situation and people adamantly saying Tory did this or Meg did this. And truth be told, even now, nobody knows who did what. The major emphasis is I just find it perplexing that so many people want to start these platforms. They want to even compete with mainstream media, but they use the same book bullshit ass tactics as them instead of trying to build themselves in being a credible source. And that is my issue with a lot of these platforms, regardless what topic they talk about. This is why I choose to get my own information, formulate my own opinions, and give you all my point of view. How you feel about it is on you. Have a good day.